A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them from one another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? or thirsty, and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill, or in prison, and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Today we celebrate in the church the 34th Sunday in Ordinary Time, also known as the Solemnity of Our Lord Jesus Christ, the King. Christ the King. And we might, uh, on this occasion, when we celebrate Christ the King, imagine some of religious art that we have seen with Jesus uh, sitting on a throne, wearing a crown, perhaps holding a scepter, maybe he's dressed in purple robes. Uh, Perhaps the throne he sits upon is gold, and maybe he's surrounded by um, assistants and people who are um, attending to his needs. You know, this image of the king, the great king. Some people um, maybe just kind of keep that image of Jesus in their mind, and uh, so he, he, I, I think, becomes kind of a very distant reality to us. Jesus is Christ the King, the ruler of the universe, the savior of the world. But he's also the servant king. Jesus is the servant king. And I think the word servant in this context is extremely important. And in the gospel today, for this Sunday, we hear this kind of parable Jesus gives of the the sheep and the goats. And... um, you know, it's, 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 this imagery kind of plays on maybe our sense of those particular animals. And if you're like me and you grew up in the city, 
uh, you didn't have much exposure to sheep or goats. I certainly did not. However, my limited experience with those animals, I think it's safe to say that sheep tend to be very, oh, let's say cute and, and, and maybe very timid, but somewhat friendly or curious. They stick together. They sort of protect one another. And if they're frightened, they all run together away. And, and so sheep are kind of seen as communal animals, kind of f sort of friendly, yet timid, and, uh, and harmless. Harmless. Goats, on the other hand, tend to be very, at least by appearance, uh, totally unconcerned with the world around them. They don't care about anything, just chewing their food. And they will uh, park themselves in some place and they won't move for nothing. And I, I, I had an experience like that once where I was in a place where there were lots of goats in a town. And we were driving the car along and there was a goat in the middle of the road, just lounging, chewing on its cud. And we drove close, and you'd think the goat might get up and move. Nope. Just sit there, beep the horn, finally get out of the car, try to push him away. That goat was going nowhere. He could have cared less about us. His only concern was himself. So we get this, so Jesus uses these kind of images of the sheep and the goats to teach us a lesson. And according to the gospel today, Jesus, the king of the universe, the, the, the judge, he separates the sheep from the goats. And this is the criterion he gives. He says, let me just kind of... Uh, translate a little. Jesus clearly says in the gospel today, if you follow me, if you follow my example, if you claim to be a Christian, then you will conduct your life, especially in the way that you relate to others, after the model or the witness that I have given you. And what did Jesus do? Well, Jesus went around giving sight to the blind, giving um, the, the lame the ability to walk, enabled the, the deaf people to hear, the mute to speak. He cured people of leprosy. He raised people from the dead. He comforted people in their sorrow, and he forgave sins of people who were considered to be unworthy of such forgiveness. He, he did it with passion and generously. And so Jesus tells us, and specifically in the Gospel today, he says, if you want to follow me, then you must feed the hungry. You must give water to the thirsty. You must welcome strangers and aliens. In other words, treat them like they are brothers and sisters. He says, you must give clothing to the naked. Put clothes on the people who don't have a sufficient amount of clothes. And he says you must care for those who are sick and ill. He also says that you must visit people who are incarcerated. One thing I will say about all of these people that Jesus commands us to serve is that all of them, the hungry, the thirsty, the stranger, the naked, the ill, those in prison, these are all people 
who are maybe looked down upon. Maybe society in general thinks of itself better than them, more worthy of God's love. And Jesus' message is totally the opposite. He says, in your love of God and your love of neighbor, you must reach out to the hungry and the needy, the sick and the imprisoned, those who are considered to be unworthy of God's love. These are the very people you are supposed to serve. And Jesus says that we serve him, we serve Jesus himself, when we place ourselves in service to the most needy, we're serving Jesus himself. When we do what he does in reaching out to those most in need, the hungry, the thirsty, the naked, the stranger, the sick person, the prisoner, and the list goes on. And these righteous people in the gospel today say, Lord, when did we see you a stranger and welcome you or naked and clothe you? When did we do any of this? Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers or sisters of mine, you did that action for me. For me. Those goats, on the other hand, those stubborn, selfish, narcissistic people, who only care about themselves and won't lift a finger for anybody else. They say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or, or thirsty or stranger, naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? And Jesus likewise says, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And so Jesus separates the sheep from the goats. He separates those who are communally minded, kind, considerate towards others, willing to help, willing to put themselves on the line in service to others, from those who are completely selfish and out of touch. And so Jesus says to us today, open your eyes see the world around you, and if you come upon someone who is marginalized, discriminated against, poor, different, a sinner, then you must place yourself in service to those people with kindness, love, and forgiveness. That's it. What better way to experience this than for us who gather at Mass to come to the altar and receive the Eucharist? Remember, this same Jesus who cured people in, 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 in Galilee, in Judea, and even in Samaria, this Jesus is still at work among us. He still humbles himself and ministers to our needs even though we are not worthy. Jesus comes to us in these simple forms of bread and wine, and he offers himself to us completely, showing us the Father's love. And he says to us, as I have done, as, as I've given myself for you, so you must give yourself to others. This is how you serve me. You serve me by serving your brothers and sisters who are most in need, most misunderstood, most, mis most marginalized, most thought of as unworthy. That's who we are. And that's who we are as people who respond to this great gift we receive here in church as we share the Eucharist and go out of this place back into the ordinary, everyday activities of our lives placing ourselves in service to others. So when we meet people who are hungry or thirsty or a stranger, 
or naked or ill or in prison. It's our opportunity in serving them to serve God. Let's do that faithfully and always count ourselves among the sheep and not those miserable goats. Amen.